Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Honeywell and we're starting a new town in Settlement Survival. So exciting! There was a Fashions and Trade update that changes the game considerably. And uh, just like Cardinal Point, we'll be playing this map for 25 years to see where that gets us. Uh, if you're watching the Cardinal Point series, there should be a new video on Thursday. Or Sunday if interest has dropped off. But let's see what we have here. Oh, this looks good. There's three seed points right here, all in a row, a nice flat mountain, a grassland, the water that we like nearby. On this side, we have three, yeah, two animal points, three. There's alpaca there. What do we have right here? Uh, geese for feathers, that's nice. And more, more geese. So if we come over here, we have geese. For sure, we're, we'll catch some. Uh, we have a seed. We have a farm. Two farms. This is small, but I'm sure we can get a mountain on this one. And then we have all of these up here. So yeah, easy peasy. Let's, um, let's put our starting up here. Let's kind of get close to the water so we can... Uh, put in some water reservoirs and is that good where is that farm at it's kind of nice to have that farm let's see i'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit space for pause and we're using our cardinal point market layout so it should be familiar to you no reason to change yet until uh you know we explore the new content and see if uh, changes need to be made now on this i did a, pr a quick proof of concept playthrough to make sure uh this is viable and i think it is we'll find out together for sure we're relying on random events and the spring festival rewards for early trade goods but um, if you skip events because they make the game too easy for you, or our luck is bad, we can just fall back onto some old tried and true early trade items like clothes, silver, ore, soap, that sort of stuff. Um, let's see what we have here. I was trying to uh, get in range of this this fertile ground. And I think we could absolutely farm this down here. And then we would have a mine over here. Now the question is where do we want where do we want our mine? Or not our mine, our apartment. Uh I do not know. But I'm going to take a few minutes to uh plan this out. And then we'll kick things off. Okay, this is better. Now we can get started. Now, this is going to look familiar to you if you watched the previous series. We still have, um, we're placing our service buildings around the cardinal points of the marketplace. Um, we have our smithy here, our school here, conveniently located next to this house. Uh, so people that are injured can hop on over and get warmed up, can get water for us. All of that's the same. And then our peripheral buildings, we adjust that to, you know, what's around the map. I'm thinking we're going to start a mine on this mountain over here. And we have this uh, fertile soil down here. So we're going to place a farm here. So our one house right up here is our first priority. It's January and it's 13 degrees. People will die if we do not get them into a house. So yeah, let's do that. Um, let's queue up. We'll get four builders so we can start working on the school and this house. Speaking of which, our very first education point is still going to be school expansion, which uh, increases the technology output by 100%. So there we go. There's our one lone tech point spent. And uh, let's queue up some just a little tiny bit of gather all for everybody 
We have four builders. Let's remove uh, Michael from the marketplace. We don't need him there. And uh, let's get everybody housed. And while we're doing that, let's take a look at our uh, children here. We have two nine-year-olds. I don't know, uh, an eight, a seven, a six-year-old. And well, let me watch this first, because uh, yeah, this always makes me nervous because everyone is freezing, and I've had people die right off the bat. You can do it. Perhaps. There's Elaine, so that's one of our kids. Good, good. They've, uh, they've settled in and decided that they're a little less happy and a little less healthy. And there we go. There is our house. Everyone should be uh, running over. Perhaps if they put some uh, firewood in there. If we put some firewood in there. Are you people just going to die? There we go. Okay, so everyone is in there. We have a teacher. And uh, let's see, we have someone just aged up to an adult, right? Who was it? R not Regina, Elaine. Where's Elaine at? Elaine is extra special. And we're going to uh, rename Elaine here. She's gonna get a special star, Elaine is. You're marked for greatness, Elaine. Okay, so there is Elaine. And what other students do we have? Cecil is eight. Ariel, Ariel, we're gonna mark you for greatness. There we go. Regina is nine, Ariel's nine, Regina is nine. Regina, you too. Nothing but good things are in store for you. And what do we need? One more? Geoffrey, how old are you? Seven. And Cecil's eight. Cecil. Good for you, Cecil. Okay. There we go. Now that we have uh, our children marked, We'll, uh, we'll go over that in a little bit. Um, let's start building the boarding house, the apartment, so we can get everybody in the house. Um, we will need some stone. So let's queue that up and increase the priority of that. And yeah, let's just do a real quick do I want to gather all here now well yeah we can do that I was thinking about trying to keep some of these trees um, because because reasons because the plants grow around them and it would be nice to have them right here in the center of town so let's get that and let's get in some stockpiles as well we need the will I don't need to have this paused. We have a room for a stockpile right here. Sure, six by six is good. Uh, we're not going to bother uh, trying to get a crop in this year. So, uh, so March, oh, this is important. Here's part of the spring update. Uh, citizens were attracted by the beautiful lanterns on the river and found paper notes with riddles and New Year wishes hanging from them. We're gonna go ahead and uh, try and solve the lantern riddles. Some citizens managed to guess the riddle of the lantern riddles and won a reward. Ah, uh, yes, please. Okay, glue 
pudding. <laughs> Delicious. Let's go ahead and open up I for inventory management here. And let's go to food. All of our fancy food. Uh, you are not allowed to have any of it. Any food rewards that we get um, are going to be sold. Simple food. Let's see, what is there? Rice cake, oysters, taco, spicy cocoa. These are all new. I'm not sure if these are like completely new or if they're just new for this update, but we're gonna go ahead and mark those. There is, uh, when I say update, I meant the spring festival. There is also some new wine. Let's mark that off. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're very happy to receive that. That'll be uh, one of the first things that we sell. And you notice that we have a technology point. And before, it was a it was a very easy decision. We'll go straight down the education tree. And uh, yeah, that makes life better. But we have some competing interests now. Um, in the trade tree that has been completely revamped, we no longer have access to the grocery store. Um, so the only way that we can trade is through caravans and uh, this small trading post right here is a starting building that we, we get from the start. Um, because of that, that cuts us off from a lot of our uh, opening strap. Or it would if this wasn't better. <laughs> Uh, but it is more cons time consuming and the the tech tree is still kind of fuzzy for me, but I think we need to go We want a lot of these trade points. We want a lot of these education points, but I think because this isn't like kind of a Practiced and perfected. I think we really need to go and get the basics out of the way and by basics I mean we need a fuel source and we like mining for that. So we're gonna go ahead and get mining. And then we need a, we need clothes and we want weaving for that, which we need the sawmill. So I think we're gonna do a sawmill weaving just to get the basics out of the way. And then we're going to um, work on getting our research institute uh, just so you have a little bit of a, a heads up we have uh, something planned for our uneducated students and we're trying to get some of the basics out of the way just in case anything goes wrong uh, we have the basics covered they're working on a house we have things queued up the well uh, yeah while they're doing that let's see if we can fit a mine over here since that's where we decided we were going to put it. Okay, well, we can definitely fit one over here. Uh, but I'm leery of placing it right now. I might pause that and place that. We'll see. Okay, they're building the house. They do not have enough iron so uh let's start targeting that stuff prioritize that uh we're going to need oh we do we have stone queued up we have irons queued up over here let's um toggle off this school really quick and see if we can get there we go Do we have, we have one left that we want. We want Cecil. Good enough. Um, so we have a little extra labor than we usually would right about this point. And I think we should do, let's do the Forester next. Housing, water, Forester. Uh, let's see. 
let's do construction sawmill because we're taking care of the basics. Let's put a, we're just going to slot in this sawmill where we used to put the grocery store. The grocery store is no longer in the game. Let's pause that for now. How are we doing? There's like so many people running around, nobody's doing anything. Let's also unlock the the clinic because uh, obviously our health is a concern. There we go. Now everyone at least is going to have a place to live. Right? Right. Okay, so that's good. What does our town look like here? Uh, let us... Let us keep going. Um, the hunter. Because we need food. Let's put in this farm down here. Now oh, that one's pretty close too. Uh, these are really nice. Like, I don't place my town around them, but it, I mean, if we have them, like, yes, please. Um, let's do... One, two. Let's just do a 12 by 13. Yes. Very decisive on you. So we have housing. Water is going in. We have food coming in with these hunters. Um, we are going to need a pasture because we have animals everywhere. Oh, let's get up. Let's get somebody over here to pick over here and we can get a, a seed, which will be good. Yes, yes. Okay, we're still getting like uh, some technology points here. Who do we have in school? Ariel is still a student. Okay, Ariel will become adult if we toggle off this stool, school. So let's do that real quick. And now who do we have? Oh. Like, everybody is uneducated, right? No, we still have Cecil. One more year for Cecil, and then... Yes, okay. This is new, so you have to bear with me here. Okay, so we have people there. Let's open up another house. We have fuel. We don't have water for it, but we'll, uh, we'll work it out. Who is here? No. You get out, you get out. Brandon for a water fetcher. Hilton, you are a water fetcher. Oh, and we have an event. Beware of mild mushrooms. Uh, let's try it out. Thanks for the 600 mushrooms. Appreciate it. Do we have any more uh, lanterns? No. No more light. Oh, yes. Solve the riddle, please. Some dumplings. Thanks for those. Let's see what seed we got. Uh, oat seeds. Not what we were looking for, but that's fine. So we're building a house. We're building the hunter for some food. The forester. Hopefully sorted out. And pea seeds, not as good as uh, as the rice seeds anymore. Um, I've never grew rice before until this update, and they're higher yield and faster growing than peas. So uh, rice is our new go-to. 
Let's gather some food. Let's gather some wood. You know what, let's go up here to gather wood. No, let's go right here to gather wood. Yes, yes. Um, let's put in some more builders. Do we have... Are we ready for Cecil to come out? Okay, I think we have all of our... I think we have all of our some very special children. One, two, three, four. Yeah, good. You yeah, know, we're not farming. Get out of there. And. Let's get the church. And apparently we have all the materials for that, good. And how are we doing on technology points? We, well, you know what? I think we're going to, just to be on the safe side, we're gonna start going down the education first. We have mining, so we have a fuel source, and we have the sawmill. We can always put in a normal tailor if need be, or just let people be naked. Uh, so yeah, let's start going down the education tree. Getting a little nervous. Want everything to work out. Do we have materials for everything? Apparently we do. All of our stuff is still okay. We're building another house. Keep wear back. Oh, broken bones, sprained ankle, so you're good. You still have 40 fuel. And I really think we need to just put in. Should we put in the mine and get that built? I would like to, you know with this to make sure that we could get as many on here as possible but I think I'm just gonna if we put this here we could go right to here so we if we put this here let's just do it here we go you're in we'll see what happens later if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. That's fine. Fuel reserves are not low. We have plenty. So we're building the church. We're going to keep uh, trying to solve the riddles here. And we have some wine now. So all of this food we are going to be selling. Okay. Two houses. New crop seeds, what did we get? We're off to a pretty good start. Oh, we got flax and agave, both. That's amazing. Uh, three citizens are freezing to death. Maybe that's bad. Is that bad? Probably. Um, let us... Should we do something about that? <laughs> Where do I have them gathering from? Well, I mean, the house is right there, so it's not that bad. We have the boarding house on this side. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't going bad. I say, let's, no, we're short on stone. Let's hide this and look for some stone. Technology point. Okay, now we have the education. So I'm feeling good about this. We're down to Research Institute. Now I think the next thing that we want to do is insurance and travel light. Here is the trip, the, well, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. 
let's uh, see what happens here. What do we need? We need stone. And we were looking for that, and then, yes, I had to pause the game really quick. Okay. So, stone over here, please. Come get this. Yes. Uh, maybe get this as well. Oh, and now we have a we have the church up, we have the clinic up, the school is open. Let's put somebody in there. Uh, we are getting the hunter's cabin up, so we should have food shortly and animals. And we really lucked out with this because I didn't even see them, uh, the buffalo right here. So that's going to be a source of leather. So let's get three people in the hunter's cabin. Up, oh, and a full year has gone by already. It's crazy. Time flies. And we have immigrants, so we need to get the the town hall sorted, which I'm not sure where we're going to put it. I guess I guess we're going to run right back here. Yes. What are we going to do? Uh, first, we are going to open up Get out of there. We need to open up this field down here, but I really don't have people down here. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh well, you know what, it is what it is. Let's try and get five. So, we don't want to pull them. We want the hunters to bring in food and animals. So I guess it's going to be a builder. Yes, please. And grow us some rice. Nom nom. Here we go. What does our town look like with some trees up? With like a... I'm trying to keep a, an eye on these resources. We need... We need stone and iron for sure. We need a spot for our town hall. You know, just to keep things easy, I'm gonna put our town hall up here for right now and we can move that later. Sure. We're gonna put our town hall right there. And that'll make it easy for the builders to build it, and I don't have to uh, coordinate anything, like worry about them trying to run out there in the winter. And we have another technology point. We have education, and now we want to unlock a function of buying insurance for caravans. The town can get compensation if the insured caravan meets with a mishap. If we're going, we need to send out caravans in order to trade now. And we have buffalo, just like that. It's amazing. Okay, so we're going to put buffalo right there. Let's get that going. And if we get geese, there's like two sets of geese around here. That is our down coat sorted right off the bat. That's, you know, that's really not a small thing. Are you all farmed up yet here? Not yet, almost. There we go, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and close that field. Let's open this forester here and actually we're gonna close one of these spots and we're just gonna have two positions here. The doctor is going to become a forester, and Gloria is going to become a forester. There we go. They have a stockpile right there. That works for me. Now we need a doctor. 
There you go. Pick a new one. Okay, now what we were doing, we were going over like this, our next tech point here. The two things that I want to get the most are insurance, um, because if we lose everything that we sell, first of all, it's going to kill all of our um, people, apparently. I've never had that happen. Um, but you don't just lose your goods, you lose all your people that you send on the caravan. Uh, so that could be pretty devastating. So we don't, we definitely want to get insurance. Unlock the function of buying insurance for caravans. The town can get compensation if the insured caravan, caravan meet with a mishap. The other thing that we want to do is uh, reduce the number of workers needed uh, for the caravans. If I could get those two, I would be happy, and I'm not sure which one is more important. Let's, uh, let's start getting that built. And, uh, and we'll find out together. I really want to get a caravan out on this first episode, but we'll see. We will see what happens. If not today, then tomorrow. Tomorrow. Then episode two. Have we taken care of... We haven't taken care of the essentials yet. We need fuel. We have food sorted. It's May, and this is already at 56%. We have food sorted. We have... Now that's fuel. We have water. Uh, tools. We're going to need tools. Next. And what are the materials that we're out of? We have enough stone. We have enough everything? No, we don't have enough stone. So... That's sorted though. Oh, try and solve the riddle. Uh, some dumplings, thanks. Did I miss any normal events while I was blathering? I'm like very tempted to start this episode over again. <laughs> uh, because I kept getting interrupted and I'm really not sure of the order that I need to build this stuff. Okay, we're at 89%. Let us let us close this forester and get these people to harvest. Here we go. It's July. We're at 95%. Usually we would only be 80 if we were doing peas. So so yeah, the the rice grows faster and it's a high yielding crop too. So it's really good. I don't know if that's just buffed for this um, spring festival or if that is just the way rice has always been and I just never knew because we don't, I never had rice at the start of the game before. We have an injury but it's not showing up here because the doctor sprained himself, slacking off says okay we, oh we had we got a goose i didn't see that pop up okay there we go that is our down coats sorted as soon as we get checkpoints and it looks like you know what we're gonna do both of them we're gonna do wait can we do both of them yes we're gonna do insurance and travel light and travel light so that was our our tech order now. We're going we went with the the school so we could get tech points faster and then we are trying to take care of the basics. And the basics I decided were a mine for fuel and a sawmill. And yeah. But oh, we only have one builder on right now. That's bad. Is there anyone else that we can uh, kind of flex around here? Uh, yeah. Let's decrease a water worker and put them on building. And it's September. Oh, it's 38 degrees. 
Um, see, look, we already have 969 rice from this field. Well, part of it is because it's a, it's a fertile field right here, or whatever this bonus icon is. Uh, that's a shame. But we still got a thousand food from that, so that's fine. Let us do that. Let's open back up our forester and hope that these two people become foresters. They did. Okay, that's good. Excellent. And what we need right now the most, I think, is builders. Is that right? One, two, three, four. We have four special people, which is very good to hear. What are we short now? Now we are short on wood. Um, let's do that little section right there. Come on guys, we're trying to get the, uh, the trading post up and running. Oh, we also need this. Is it to the point where we need... Well, it looks like they're prioritizing that on their own. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's prioritize this lumber over here. Oh, we have more lanterns. And we got some dumplings. Great, thanks. And we already marked everything, so they can't eat it. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is absolutely fine. This is not absolutely fine. Um. I'm gonna be upset if we miss the immigrants, but it's gonna be a while before we get there, right? Sure is. Um, do you know what? We have enough food. We have the two animals that we need. Let's close our hunters. They can gather resources for us. People are very upset. I can't say I blame them. Let's get another house down here too. Oh wait, I should pause this trying to build too much at once that is going this needs resources oh we need iron too but I think we have all of this over here so is that what we're short on now let's change the priority to this rock and stuff does this have iron in it yes it does good we have the smithy open which we're going to be making these let's put our total at like what we have 15 17 people plus 10 let's do 30 as our limit and let's turn that off why is everyone cold did we run out of fuel no no we did not Get it done, guys. So this one is just waiting on some stone, which we have plenty of. This one is waiting on timber, which we have over here. Uh, this, wow, it's a red packet for Lunar New Year. Um, some people get... I don't know, like a little backpack for like the little red envelopes or something. Here we go, a little red packet so they can carry more. So, uh, yeah. Enjoy that, Darcy. There will be no gifts, no more gifts. If I could sell them, I would. And it looks like 
we are not going to get this uh, done in time. We're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And when we come back, we will get trading and immigrants and finish getting this set up. Hopefully I'll, uh, I'll have more of a game plan and ramble a little less. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll leave a like if you did. Your likes and comments matter. The content you like is scheduled more frequently. Also consider subscribing if you're new. I'd love that too. Uh, but that's all for now. I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.